House meeting to order at 7 o'clock. If you would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, I want to hear all of the young voices really loud, okay? All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of I'm just going to ask for Ricky to do the roll call quickly for me. Yep. Mike Cashman. Present. Thomas Wood. Here. Martin Manick. Here. Martin Deaver. Present. James Coffee. Here. Rick Collins. All right. At this time, I'd like to pass it off to our amazing recreation staff. <coughs> wow. Here. No pressure. Very quick. <laughs> Did you guys all hear that? Amazing. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Erin Payborn and I am the Recreation Program Coordinator for the town. First, I would like to thank all the parents and participants who took part in our program this fall. This season, we had 22 soccer teams, which allowed 367 youth to be active from August through the middle of October. This would not have been possible without all the dedicated parents who bring their children to the many practices and games throughout our season. Next, I would like to thank the town board for your support of the Parks and Recreation Department and our money program. <laughs> now, we will recognize several participants for their outstanding commitment and sportsmanship throughout the season. We would like to acknowledge the players who have been positive role models for their fellow teammates and opponents during fall soccer. Our most dedicated player award goes to individuals who demonstrate these qualities as well as go beyond what we ask of them. The following players lead by example on and off the field, and that is why we feel these participants are highly deserving of the most dedicated award. We hope this will reinforce positive behavior for all participants in the future. We are very proud that these kids are a part of our programs. When I call your name, please come up and I'll, uh, Mel will give you the certificates. And go ahead and look at Ricky over here because uh, this is recorded, so it'll be on TV for you. All right, from our Cadeville United Mites team, congratulations to Rob Squire. Just smile. Just smile. There you go. There you go. Good. You're good. All right. <laughs> From our Katieville Impact Mike's team, congratulations to Hannah Forja. Team, congratulations to Benjamin Lambert. Good. From our Cliffhaven Mites team, congratulations to Delaney Fauche. From our Cumberland Head Union Mites team, congratulations to Anise Hanna. <laughs> From our Cumberland Head Dynamo team, congratulations to Kobe Love. Go, Cody. 
from our Cumberland Head Revolution team, congratulations to Scott Gommel. <laughs> from our Cumberland Head Whitecaps Pee Wee team, congratulations to Dana Provost. From our East Morrisonville Galaxy Mites team, congratulations to Austin LaRue. <laughs> From our East Morrisonville Rapids Mites team, congratulations to Michael Alex. Union Pee Wee team, congratulations to Molly Dunn. <laughs> From our East Morrisonville Revolution Pee Wee team, congratulations to Amelia Lebrun. from our North Plattsburgh Timbers Mites team, congratulations to Matthew Siscavich. From our North Plattsburgh Red Bulls Mites team, congratulations to Rylan Steele. Red Bull Mites team, congratulations to Addison Steele. <laughs> From our West Plattsburgh Bantam number one team, congratulations to Ethan Green. <laughs> and from our West Plattsburgh Bantam number two team, congratulations to Megan Daniels. Congratulations to the 2016 Most Dedicated Soccer Recipients. Our soccer teams would not exist if we didn't have many amazing volunteers to coach and assist. We would like to thank all of our 30 plus coaches and assistants who dedicated their time this season. Yeah. Although we truly believe all Town of Plattsburgh coaches are excellent, we would like to take a moment to recognize the coach that the Parks and Recreation Department feels has gone above and beyond for our community. For the past 10 plus years, we actually couldn't figure out the number. So, it's that many years. Definitely plus <laughs> TJ Myers has coached his three children for soccer and basketball for every season. Not only did he coach for the town of Plattsburgh, but he also branched out and began coaching for other organizations that his children were playing for. His dedication to our programs is definitely enough reason to recognize him. But what we have noticed over the years is more than that. A coach's job is to make sure each player on their team learns something new and enjoys the sports. If you have ever coached, I'm sure that you can agree, it's very difficult to reach every player on a team but TJ does this and more. 
he works with each player to improve them in some way throughout the season or to pull out their individual strengths. Each season, we are impressed with how successful TJ is with all of his players. <coughs> Most of his players seem to leave the season wanting more and cannot wait until next season, hoping they have Coach Myers. TJ is a coach that these kids will remember their entire life for making a difference in theirs. Although we had many great coaches this season, we felt Coach TJ Myers is most deserving of our top coach award. Thank you for the dedication to all Town of Classburg participants and to our programs. We are proud to have you as a coach and look forward to one more season with you. Congratulations, <laughs> TJ. I'm just going to stand because the, there is a podium here and I want to be able to see a lot of the smiling faces. Um, there's two things that I love most about evenings like uh, tonight. The first is when um, the youth of our community does the Pledge of Allegiance. That just really warms my personal heart. Uh, the second piece is when we come together as a community uh, to celebrate the very best um, of our community and that is the next generation that always continues to come up behind us. We have a phenomenal recreation program. I know you folks know that. Um, but between the kids and the coaches and the family and the hours that you commit to that, uh, Mel and Erin constantly brag about your kids and even the parents uh, mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Can we give them a round of applause? Yes. Now, I know we're in the, you're heading into those dreaded winter months, uh, and uh, North Country favorite Harrigans isn't around, unfortunately, even though the weather seems to be getting warm again. Uh, maybe you folks can tug on your parents or the person that brought you here tonight to do something special. But if the kids could join me in giving a round of applause to your parents that bring you to practices and everything else uh, to make you be able to play soccer. Can you give them a round of applause? Folks, I'm sure you have homework or final uh, details, putting your Halloween costumes and stuff like that. So drive safe and be well, and thanks for joining us. hearing moving forward, so I'm going to uh, read this. The meeting is to be called to order at 713 by the presiding officer of the Town of Plattsburgh on the Baker Road. Further notice is hereby given that the Town Board of the Town of Plattsburgh will meet and hold public hearings hereon at the Town Hall located at 
Banker Road in the town of Plattsburgh, Clinton County, New York, on Monday, October 17, 2016, at 7.13 p.m. prevailing time in relation to the Airport Development District Zoning Map Amendment and Seeker Review 2016. We will now, we will, under this, accept uh, written comments and the records of the hearing, if there are any, and open hearing to the floor for public comments. Is there a motion to open the public hearing? So moved. Ebert, is there a second? Second. Minix, is there any discussion before I call the vote? Change that date. <coughs> All right. Uh, we will open the public comment at 7.14 p.m. Is there anybody to be here for public comment? on this particular item. Not us. Okay. Uh, I will leave the public comment open for a little bit as we move forward through the other parts of our uh, agenda. Uh, Ricky, uh, before I do that, can you do an official roll call so that we have the public comment open? Yep. Yep. Uh, comments away? Here. Mark Manick? Yes. Mark Hinder? Yes. Michael Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, we will go to resolution 16, uh, 203, approved minutes of the previous meeting. Resolved that the minutes of September 26 and October 3rd, 2016 be approved and a reading of the minutes be dispensed with. Is there a motion? So uh, Wood. Is there a second? Second. Eber. Is there any discussion? See none. Uh, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Mark Mannix? Yes. Mark Eber? Yes. Mike Cash. Yes, and the resolution does carry. Resolution 16, uh, 204, the abstract. It's all that the abstract of honor to claim is number 1B-16, 2001 to 2163, for $1,077,007.51. An abstract 5B-16, 401 to 420 prepays, any amount of $411,582.34 be received as reviewed by the audit committee and the supervisors hereby authorized to pay said abstract. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Mannix, is there a second? Second. Wood, is there any discussion? Seeing none, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Mark Mannix? Yes. Mark Heber? Yes. Mike Cash? Yes. Uh, resolution does carry. Resolution 16205, monthly department reports. Resolved to receive and place on file a monthly department <coughs> head report. Building and Grounds Safety Committee, Highway Superintendent, Park and Recreation, Supervisors Financial, Town Clerk, Coast and Zoning, Historian, Planning, and Water and Wastewater. <coughs> Is there a motion? So moved. Wood. Is there a second? Second. Ebert, is there any discussion? I just, just mentioned that, that the uh, planning board is extremely busy, and uh, even Schluter has three different things before the board. So uh, some of our <coughs> corporations that are, have some uh, good employment are, are expanding, as well as, as you know, uh, more what we're doing tonight. I think so. Anything else? Seeing none, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Art Mannix? Yes. Mark Yes. Mike Yes. Resolution does carry. Resolution 16206, lead agent determination for SUNY Poly North Plattsburgh subdivision and site plan 2016. When part 617 state environmental quality <coughs> review act section 8-0113 of the Environmental Conservation Law provides for a review of the project which constitutes an action with respect to effect of such projects on the environment. Whereas the Town Board, Town of Plattsburgh, the Town respectively, has adopted the provisions of Part 617 State Environmental Quality Review. Whereas a determination of the effect of said project or action on the environment is necessary to determine whether a draft environmental impact statement is required. Whereas the town board has before it the project action known as Suling Poly Norsky Plattsburgh Subdivision Site Plan 2016 for the town of Plattsburgh. 
And whereas the project is determined to be a type one action requiring an assessment of potential effect <coughs> on the environment. Whereas the town board has concluded that it is in the best interest of the town to defer action to the town plastic planning board as a lead agency for this project in accordance with part 617 state environmental quality review. For the purpose of assessing potential effects of the project on the environment and determining whether such effects is significant enough to require preparation of a draft environmental impact statement. Now therefore we resolve that the town of Plattsburgh Planning Board be the lead agent for the <coughs> aforementioned project and a copy of this resolution be given to the chairperson of the planning board and the planning department head. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Mr. Mannix, is there a second? Second. Mr. Wood, is there any discussion? Seeing none, roll call. <coughs> Thomas Wood? Yes. Mark Mannix? Yes. Mark Beaver? Yes. Mike Cashman? Yes. Uh, resolution <coughs> does carry. Resolution 16207, setting a public hearing for certain elected official salaries in the 2017 preliminary budget. Whereas <coughs> public notice of the preliminary budget and certain elected official salaries must be shared. Now, therefore, we resolve the notice of hearing entitled Setting a Public Hearing for Elected Official Salaries and the 2017 Public <coughs> Hearing shall be published once in the local newspaper and posted on the town hall as indicated. Notice is hereby given that the preliminary budget of the town of Plaster for the beginning January 1, 2017 will be complied compiled and filed in the office of the town clerk on or before October 31st, 2016. Further notice is hereby given that the town board, town of Plattsburgh, will meet and review <coughs> said temporary budget and hold a public hearing there on at the town hall located at 151 Baker Road, town of Plattsburgh, Clinton County, New York, on Thursday, November 10th, 2016, at 7.05 p.m. for railing time. At such hearing, any person may be heard in favor or against the preliminary budget as compiled, or for and against any item there is therein contained. Um, so it lists the council person, supervisor, town clerk, and highway superintendent, as so noted. A copy of the preliminary budget will be made available for inspection by all interested persons at the town hall on the Baker Road between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Is there a motion? So moved. Mr. Mannix, is there a second? Seconded. Mr. Hebert, is there any discussion? Uh, <clears throat> no. <coughs> uh, my only question, Ricky, is uh, initially we had a conversation during our budget work session on Saturday that your office hours were 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, do you believe that your hours of operation will be changing uh, to 8 o'clock anytime soon? Within the, probably the next month or so. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave this scheduled as is then, um, but certainly if the public um, is in and the office is open, it will certainly be available during you know that time period as well if your hours change early. Thank yeah. you for that clarification. You're any comment? Seeing none, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Manning? Yes. Harvey Hebert? Yes. Mike Cashman? Yes. Um, resolution does carry. Uh, resolution 16208. Public hearing notice for consolidated assessment rolls. Resolved that a public hearing be held at the town by the town board at the town hall on Baker Road on Thursday, November 10, 2016 at 7.15 p.m. prevailing time for the purpose of hearing and considering any comments which may be made to the completed consolidated assessment rule which are on file in the town clerk pursuant to the town law section 239 as follows. Town of Plaster Consolidated Water District, Town of Plaster Consolidated Sewer District, Base Water District, Base Sewer District, Base Stormwater Management District, Base Highway Maintenance Improvement District, Townwide Highway, Town Plastic Lighting District, and Consolidated Ambulance District. 
I'm going to be further resolved that the town clerk is hereby directed to have published in the Press Republican a notice of said public hearing to be held at the Town Hall, 151 Baker Road. And it be further resolved that a copy of this be given to the finance manager. Uh, is there a motion? So moved. Mr. Mannix, is there a second? Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Mr. Weaver, any discussion? Seeing none, roll we'll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Mark Mannix? Yes. Mr. Weaver? Yes. Mike Manson? Uh, yes. And the resolution does carry. Uh, resolution 16209, purchase request for combination <coughs> dump, uh, dump, box, and material spreader for the highway department. Well, as a letter dated October 5, 2016 from James Woods, highway department superintendent requesting permission to purchase a dump box and material spreader in the amount of $28,996 for use by the town plaster highway department. <coughs> Therefore, to resolve, the town board does hereby grant permission to Mr. Woods to order said dump box and material spreader, and the supervisor is hereby authorized to sign any and all related documents required for the purchase. And to be further resolved, the payment of said purchase will be made payable from the DA 5130-2000 account, and then a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager Cool insuring and highway superintendent. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Mr. Wood, is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? I would just add for um, clarification as well that this relates to the piggyback purchasing. So that was referenced in um, the highway <coughs> superintendent's letter, just for clarification. Okay. So seeing no further discussion, uh, I would seek a roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Mark Mannix? Yes. Our Beaver? Yes. Mike Cashman? Yes. And resolution does carry. Um, just check the time. It is 726. I don't believe we'll have more people attending for the public hearing. So at this time, I'm going to call uh, for a motion to close the public hearing at 726. Is there a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Beaver? Is there a second? Second. I'm one, seven, twenty-six, and can I get a roll call? Thomas Wood? Yes. Mark Mannix? Yes. R. Hubert? Yes. Wayne Cash? Yes. Public hearing does close. All right. Uh, resolution 16-210-2016 Culver Pipe Order. Friends, <coughs> necessary to continue maintenance and improvements of roadside drainage ditches and the stormwater drainage system within the town requires the need for additional drainage pipe. And whereas James Wood, Highway Superintendent, has submitted a letter dated October 5th, 2016, requesting permission to place an order for plastic culvert pipe. And whereas the total estimated cost for said pipe is $8,154.58. Therefore, it be resolved that the town board hereby approve said purchase of culvert pipe <coughs> that the highway superintendent is hereby authorized to make said purchase. And it be further resolved that payment for said purchase will be made payable from the 2016 drainage pipe account. And that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager and highway superintendent. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Mr. Mannix, is there a second? Seconded. Uh, I believe Barb beat you, Tom. Barb, you're quite all right. <laughs> I'll do better next time. Any discussion? Seeing none. Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Mannix? Yes. Carl Hubert? Yes. Mike Cashman? Yes. And the resolution does carry. Resolution 16211, Airport Development District Zoning Map Amendment and Secret Review 2016. Whereas it is regular scheduled work session on August 8, 2016, the Town of Foster Town Board will discuss and consider the merits and benefits of rezoning portions of the former Clinton County Airport from the Zoning Ordinance Airport Development District. Subdistrict ADMU to ADTV, a zoning map amendment. 
And whereas the approximate geographic area of the proposed zoning amendment is shown on said map titled Proposed Zoning Map Amendment 2016 of the former Clinton County Airport. And whereas the town board here has adopted resolution 16-167 at its regular meeting held August 15, 2016, and pursuant to Zoning Ordinance Article 17, 17.3, referred their motion to the planning board of the town of Foster with the report and recommendations in accordance with section. And whereas the town board is in receipt of the planning board's minutes and resolution 16-63 adopted at the meeting held on September 20th, 2016 in accordance with the zoning ordinance section 17.2 and 17.3, with said resolution found based on the findings and recommendations Report of the Planning Board dated September 20th, 2016, that the board considered. One, Planning Board recommends that the Town Board act to amend the town zoning map of approximately 110 acres plus or minus and tax map parcel 220.13.1 from the Airport District mixed use to the Airport District technology business as proposed by the Town Board and more clearly shown in Figure 3, Proposed Zoning Map Amendment 2016, former Clinton County Airport. Two, the Planning Board recommends that the Town Board act to ensure that all other aspects of the Town Zoning Ordinance, Article 10, Airport Development District, as most currently adopted, shall be maintained. Three, the Planning Board recommends that the Town Board consider reestablishing a committee of town citizens either with the review of the town comprehensive plan update as an independent planning and zoning committee to consider whether the changes should be made to the town zoning ordinance, especially Article 10, involving the former Clinton County Airport. Four, the planning board shall note that completed of the zoning ordinance, Article 17, and then Section 17.4 and 17.5, must occur before the town take the town board takes any action of the recommendations considered therein. And whereas the Clinton County Planning Board was provided a copy of the proposed zoning map amendments and findings and recommendations to report of the planning board dated September 20th, 2016, and did by a vote of six to zero, voted on October 5th, 2016, determined the general municipal General Municipal Law Section 239M, referral action to the approved with the comments pertaining to the recommendations, future review of all uses, and the boundaries of the airport development district, and other possible additional zoning attachments. Said comments were reviewed and considered and placed on file. And whereas the town board duly called for a public hearing for the consideration of the aforementioned amendment, and give due notice, therefore, as required by law. And whereas said public hearing was held at the Town Board Town Hall, 151 Banker Road, Plattsburgh, New York, 17th day of October 2016 at 7.05 p.m., for the said day at which the time of the proposed zoning amendment, findings and recommendations report of the Planning Board dated September 20th, 2016, and proposed secret material were available. Whereas Part 617 of the Environmental Conservation Law provides an immediate agency to review any action of proposed determination of said effect of said action on the environment. Whereas said determination of the effect on said action on the environment will be necessary to determine whether a draft environmental impact statement is required. Whereas the town board is considered an involved agency in accordance with state laws for the purpose of assessing the effects of the zoning ordinance and the map amendments on the environment and whether or not set effects are significant enough to warrant a proposed draft environmental impact statement. And whereas the town board has previously declared the zoning map amendments to be a type one action and determined that the coordinated review is not necessary pursuant to the State Environmental Quality Review Act. Whereas the Town Board has identified the relevant areas of the environmental concern, has taken a hard look at these areas, and has made reasonable elaboration of the bias for its determination. 
Whereas after review and discussion of the planning board's finding and recommendations report, it is the option, <coughs> it is the opinion of the members of the town board that in the best interest of the town of Plattsburgh will be <coughs> by the adoption of said amendment. Now therefore be resolved that the town board, in consideration of the planning board report and recommendations, no comments made at the public hearing on the zoning map amendments and review of part one and the completion of part two and three of the EAF long form here in seeker documents and the review of related material according to the issues of negative, negative declaration of the seeker for the proposed zoning ordinance map amendments determining that said amendments <coughs> will not have a significant effect on the environment and the preparation of DI, DEIS is not required. And the declaration is hereby referenced in incorporation therein and shown as attached to the secret document. And it be further resolved that the town board of Pla town of Plattsburgh is hereby authorized and direct the supervisor to complete and have it prepared and executed no notice of no significant environmental impact negative declaration for the zoning ordinance map amendment. And it be further resolved that the notice of no significant environmental impact negative declaration and all related material shall be maintained on file at the town offices on the town board and be available for public inspection. And the reason for the declaration is stated in the attached negative declaration. And it be further resolved that the zoning ordinance and map of the town of Plattsburgh be amended as follows. The town board is hereby act to amend the town zoning map for approximately 110 plus or minus acres of tax map parcel 220.1-3.1 from airport development district, sub-district, mixed use, ADMU, to airport development, sub-district, <coughs> technology <coughs> business, ADTB, as proposed the town board is more clearly shown on the attached, on the attached proposed zoning map amendment 2016, former Clinton County Airport. It will be further resolved that the said amendment be entered into the minutes of the meeting of the town board, town of Plattsburgh, held on 17th day of October 2016. It will be further resolved that in accordance with sections 264 and 265 of the town law. A copy of summary of the abstract amendments, exclusive of any maps, shall be published in the press and public in a newspaper published in the town of Plattsburgh that affects <coughs> the publication shall have later filed with the town clerk. And it be further resolved that the amendment shall effects of the provision by in accordance with section 265 of the town law. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the town clerk, zoning department, and planning department. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Rick. Thank you, Gary. Um, um, before I ask for a motion, I would do so with the understanding that on page two of this resolution, uh, there, there be an adjustment be made uh, to reflect that the public hearing began at 7, uh, 13 p.m. Is there a motion to accept the resolution? So moved. Mr. Mannix, is there a second? Second. Mr. Wood, is there any discussion? Yeah, just, just the part on page one, uh, the third thing down, is that uh, consider whether changes should be made to the town zone, whether other changes should be made. It was read that, that no changes should be made. Well, we are making changes tonight, so it's just other changes that they were asking to get the that planning board was asking to get a um, committee committee together yep. for, for a town, town wide comprehensive plan. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anything else? So this would th effectively change the zoning <coughs> so that uh, North would be able to use the property. Uh, and sort of. It would effectively change uh, the swath of land from corner to corner that are itemizing that uh, frontage. For, for a number of things. Yeah. So. Okay. Seeing no other comments before, uh, I would accept a roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Mark Mannix? Yes. Mark Beaver? Yes. And Cash? Yes. Resolution does carry. 
Uh, I would accept a motion to go into executive session. I would make a motion that we go into executive session. It's to discuss the specific work history of, of uh, specific um, I'm gonna screw this up here. <laughs> it is the work history of a specific personnel or employee. Employee. No action will be taken. So. Is there um, anything else that we have to come before the board? Uh, no. Mr. Mannix makes that motion. Uh, 7:39. Is there a second? Second. Uh, and we'll go into executive session at 7.39. All yes. Right. Say that again? Everybody I'm going to ask for a roll call before going. Rick, can you do a roll call? Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Hanek? Yes. Mark Hanek? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right.